you're going to get two copies of this and two copies of that. And that's going to exist through until anaphase when they get pulled apart. Most people that I talk to have always wanted to be a teacher. And actually, there is a picture that I drew when I was in second grade where I said that I wanted to be a teacher, but I don't actually remember that. And I went into education because I liked teaching things. I had done that when I was in high school. I had been a camp counselor and those kinds of things. Um, and so that seemed like the next, the next step for me. It was in, in the early 80s and nobody was getting any jobs. So I needed to take some classes and that was, and biology was really where I was closest to. I feel like every time I say I teach high school, people look at me and say, oh my God, that's, that's horrible, or, or congratulations and things like that, like it's the worst thing ever. But high school kids are great. I laugh every single day. Okay, repeat after me. A new cell enters the cell cycle at G2. A new cell enters the cell cycle at G2. Except for I just lied and it's G1. Except for I just lied and it's G1. Okay, Except for I just lied and it's G1. She actually comes before 6 a.m. and leaves at 6 p.m. to set up some of the labs for AP Biology and Genetics. Mrs. Montgomery is a really good teacher because she utilizes a different, a lot of different teaching methods and because she really pushes her students to excel and exceed even in areas where they don't have a lot of strength. Education in general is much more complex than sitting in a chair and watching a teacher do something. In S phase of the cell cycle, DNA replicates. And she teaches her students some advanced technology. Her students learn how to do DNA electrophoresis, which is an awesome skill to have and be able to take to college with you. Uh, education includes a lot of stuff on the back end. It includes a lot of work at home, a lot of work during the summer. I've been teaching for 25 years. I don't use the same test two years in a row for any unit. I redo it. I look at my results from the year before and go, okay, well, if I change this word and this word, maybe they'd understand the question better and be more successful. Uh, when I was in her class, I saw a ton of improvement, and her teaching motivated me to actually study and work hard. What do you love most about teaching? The kids. My students. My students are awesome. All of them are. They make me laugh.